Welcome to Our Lady of Perpetual Laughter Convent, where you'll find the one and only Nuns on a Mission Comedy Club. Tonight, doing stand-up is our own sister, Mary Clarence. Join us for her wickedly funny humor. Please give her a hand. Thank you, Sister Mary Clarence. Good evening, everyone. Sister Mary Clarence here, fresh off a retreat where the only chanting I heard was my cat, Lucifer, yowling for tuna at 3 a.m. <laughs> Speaking of the little demon, I want to tell you about my new specs. Oh, these babies are miracles. Anti-glare, blue light filter, even have a setting that makes everyone look like they're wearing angel wings. Except Lucifer, of course. He still looks like, well, Lucifer. Anyway, I get these beauties home, feeling like I can finally read the fine print on indulgences. Crack open the Bible, and wouldn't you know it, a verse jumps out. Beware the wrath of a feline scorn. Now, I figured that was just some Old Testament mumbo jumbo. You know, like, don't step on the cat's tail while he's meditating on a sunbeam. But let me tell you, folks, Lucifer was listening and he took that verse to heart. First, it was subtle. I'd be reading my breviary, and suddenly, ping. A rogue feather toy would smack the lens right as I hit a juicy bit about St. Cecilia's singing voice. Then, the hairball attacks. He'd launch little compact fur missiles with laser-like precision, each one leaving a Pollock-esque splatter across my specs. I looked like Sister Mary Cecilia, our kindergarten teacher, after a particularly messy finger painting day. But, oh no, Lucifer wasn't done. He graduated to full-on aerial assaults. One morning, I'm watering my philodendrons, which, by the way, are thriving on holy water. Who knew? When I hear this wicked flapping, Lucifer, the evil little furricane, launches himself off the bookshelf, claws extended, straight for my face. I duck, glasses go flying, land in the philodendron pot, right next to a particularly plump earthworm. Talk about God's will. So, there I am, squinting through muddy lenses, worm wiggling at my feet, wondering if this is what they meant by suffering for your faith. But then, divine intervention struck me. Lucifer wasn't unhinged about the new glasses. He was jealous. He couldn't stand not seeing the world in glorious high definition while I was out there spotting angels and dodging earthworms. So, I did what any self-respecting sister would do. I got him a pair of his own, tiny little things, couldn't even see his own whiskers with them. But you know what? He strutted around like he was Donatello Versace. And guess what? The attack stopped. Not a single feather, not a rogue hairball. Turns out, all Lucifer needed was a little fashion upgrade to feel clarity inclusion. So, the next time your cat's acting up, remember, it might not be about the tuna. It might be about their self-esteem. Throw them a tiny tiara, some rhinestone specks, maybe even a feather boa. You never know, you might just turn that little demon into a divine diva. And who knows, maybe you'll even get to see the world through their rhinestone encrusted eyes. And let me tell you, folks, that's a sight to behold. Thank you for joining me. Stay holy out there. Thank you, Sister Mary Clarence. If you enjoyed the show, please support our mission by liking and subscribing to our channel. You also support us when you buy our Nuns on a Mission NFTs. That's right, we created a collection of 10K animated Nun NFTs. Investing in them is a fun, inexpensive way to support our cause and collect art and animation. Click the link in the description below this video to buy on our Mint page or OpenSea. Don't forget to tip your holy water sisters. Bless you for watching, stay safe, laugh a lot, and enjoy.